I go across to Professor Dino joins us live from Australia. Dino, do you think Sami has a point there? You know, we were building this up as Gale versus Kohli. Of course, Kohli did it for India. Gale didn't do that for West Indies. They still won. And now he has all the right, the West Indian skipper has all the right to say that, listen, we're not a one-man team. No, they're not, and, they, uh, and they're playing like absolute champions at the moment. It must be said that why are these guys so good at T20 cricket? Well, number one, their, their exposure to a lot of T20 leagues around the world helps them. Um, they love this game. They make a lot of their blokes, uh, players make some big money from this. Um, you know, they play in the Pakistan Super League. They play in the BBL. They they, they play in England. They play in South Africa, uh, and that makes them very good. And they understand the game better than most. Um, the fact that um, it was a brilliant piece of bowling by Broomer. It was outskilled uh, Chris Gale. That's what bowlers are trying to do now: um, swing the ball to him, swing it, and get it full and straight, and hit his pegs. And that's what they've done. So. Uh, Chris Gale's going to have to be aware of that. But the bottom line is, if Chris Gale gets away in your first four overs, he's going to smash the living daylights out of you. So you've got to outskill him. But uh, all in all, um, the, the reason why India lost today is no doubt is because of the no balls. Um, uh, it's costing them massively. Um, and that's the little things you've got to chew. Bowlers bowling, I still don't understand why in this form of the game, why a bowler's heel must land on the crease. Their foot must be behind the crease. I, I, I still don't get it. I've asked bowlers why they don't do it, but for some reason they don't adapt, and that's the major reason why I think the Indian boys um, lost the game today.